morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Good morning. Laura. Good morning, Yvonne. Happy morning. morning. Happy second breakfast. <laughs> Happy, happy psychic brunch. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> hello, hello. How are you? How's your work? How's everything going? Yes, so it's a season of Christmas parties, isn't it? Which is always a good season of doing readings at Christmas parties. And I was just in London last night and the amount of Christmas lights, it was very exciting. Oh. I, I didn't get much chance to stay in London because I was like, I just want, need to get back to my little kitty. Um, but the lights, I was, I was just walking past going, oh, 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 it was so Christmassy. Obviously where I am, there's not one Christmas light yet, but it was really kind of like a fairy tale, magical sort of, uh, yeah, it was nice. Ah, that's nice. I think everybody's got like one neighbor that's already put it on in October. I do. I do have one neighbor. Just one. Just one. I in October. One. In October. It might have been then since August, but in August, the you know, the sun is lit all the time. So you can't really tell. But yeah, it's so for me, it's so overwhelming when I get to London, like from the countryside, because yes. Yes. here, just like um the what do you call it? The industrial estate has put on some lights. Great. That is it. That is it. So I get very excited driving by the industrial estate. But if I get to London, it's like round selfie all the way around. Yeah, I'm going to go back. Um, I think next week and I'll be doing that because it was just like I was just a bit overwhelmed. I was like, wow, you, it's, it was like being in a New York movie because it was there was so much posh lightage. <laughs> yeah, posh, expensive lightage. I think some postcodes can afford it better than others. I was in a postcode where they had the, they they had it. <laughs> Yeah, they got it. My uh, Christmas season is the season of making predictions for the new year. So there's been a lot of a lot of typing. I suppose I had to have the light on, so I had some lights. There's been a lot of typing, a lot of interesting conversations that I will tell you in private about somebody who thought that I could change astrology a little bit just to fit with their thing. Yeah, that job is not happening. <laughs> wow. Change the stars. Change the blue yeah. pattern. Uh, maybe so move them maybe what if you move <laughs> them um but yes powerful. Me, and i wouldn't doubt you could do that but i wouldn't suggest it <laughs> i can you imagine can you imagine the knock-on effect and then people will get lazier and will want for you to move the stars for them oh, every yeah. time they're not happy with the mercury retrograde oh my gosh yeah yeah yes Okay, um, yeah, I see it down. For, I was seeing it like in like a 1980s movie of whoo, lights and flashes, but not like actually the practicality of my boyfriend's not come back, change the stars. That would be very, yeah, yeah. It would, I, I, it would be very popular. Be very it would popular. be very popular. You, you could probably roll it out as a service. You know, we will move the stars for you. Only, only for like super ethical cases. Yes, if, yes. He's, not, if he's not married, for example. <laughs> if it won't destroy the time continuum as we know it then we might consider it <laughs> exactly yeah if it doesn't evaporate all the oceans okay if it if it makes animals take charge of the earth i'm up for it yeah <laughs> yeah 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 that's it you're ready with your chain um yeah, so, anyway. so we've got lots of exciting things going on all around us but what we're doing today is mm. getting you involved with our readings you to creep you, you. you good morning you <laughs> this is anybody who's watching us live hopefully you're on the bigfoot outlaw youtube or anywhere else that can send us messages so i'm going to flash out the messages that have definitely come through so tour sending us Hearts. Morning, we um, so wherever you're watching on, you can definitely send messages. Nigel Porter, greeting everyone. I can see that you've Hi. sent in messages from Facebook, so that's clearly definitely possible. Um, we're on the Things Network. We're on the Simply Spooky Network. We're on the Bigfoot Outlaw Grizzly, and we're on Laura's um, Facebook as well. So if you can send us messages do if you're watching or listening to us not live you can still play our game today is ta -da! everything's psychic did you see how i managed to type it and send it to screen it blew my own mind yes there's no stopping us today moving stars typing on screen we are <laughs> what else will there be well you know stay tuned and you'll find out <laughs> 
stay well if you can stay tuned if we move the planet it might be a little bit harder to stay tuned <laughs> than initially planned so the game we want to play with everybody and it's not a game obviously it's very very serious um if you send in your questions we'll do you our readings for sure we've got our cards here we've got our uh psychic vibes here we'll do the readings but anybody else watching who also has a message for the person asking the um asking the questions please get your message through as well so we're gonna flash up all the different messages for everybody uh we're gonna give you some time to get um to get cracking with sending some messages and in the meantime we might uh go through a little corner that says so what did mercury retrograde do to you say yesterday day before how was your journey i'm very curious oh, to know. oh wow i was absolutely had anxiety of doom a few days before and i hyper planned everything which as you know is not like me i kind of just turn I up know. And, you know yeah, there's and, something to sort of speak to a professional about yeah yeah i i am I, um, I booked a taxi at the exact time I needed to be out of the venue to get to my last train. Um, wow. There was a train, but it was so late. It would have got me in at Bristol at God knows what time of the morning. You know, it would have been a very long overnighter. But I, so I, I got my, I planned everything to the minute and I'd, and I'd actually got, it actually worked. And I got an earlier train than I even planned because I was so a few days before going, oh, this is not happening. I'm getting, you know, so it made me into a hyper-organized human being. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet you're drained though. Yeah, and I was like, I was, I was like, I, I, I said, even though the best plans of, you know, I, I, met, I thought I can't guarantee that even though I've planned it meticulously as, as I could, that it will still work. It worked like clockwork. I was like, wow. So I'm waiting that for the incredible. But you know what? I think this specific retrograde has been like for sort of for for me and the unwitting humans around me. It's been a very anxious retrograde. Yeah. It's only been a few days. Yes. Yes, but that. you're describing your actions kind of, you know, under the cloak of anxiety. Oh, yeah, huge anxiety me. about it, yeah. And, and when I, I got home, I was just like, I just collapsed because I've been so holding it, you know, like, I'll get everything. And I went, okay. Exactly. Keep it together. Keep it together. Um, I spoke to my friend yesterday who happens to be a Sagittarius. She is questioning every last bit of her really adorable and very, very loving relationship because the anxiety, and I think it's the anxiety from the Mercury retrograde. I think yeah. we're also creeping towards a Mars retrograde, and that will no. be. I, I think it's from like Can you move that. that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'd love to move that because that's exactly in the middle of like your busy season, and yeah. because you're an Aries, you're governed by Mars. So um, <laughs> that Mars retrograde, I think it might be in Gemini as well. So it's like right smack bang in the middle of the party season in yeah. party sign. So yeah, so, that's on. <laughs> so it is such an anxious retrograde. I yeah. had the day yesterday, so you know me, uh, like 30 years, I don't get annoyed really easily. I get comedy annoyed a lot, yeah. but, uh, but you know, but like big Not things. Full. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I don't care enough to be annoyed. Um, yesterday, I everything was getting on my nerves from the moment I woke up in the morning. Uh, my young son's teacher said something to me that just landed incorrectly. I got in the car, like all in a fury, I had to calm myself down. Uh, then the person who wanted me to sort of uh, change astrology for them, you, you can barely imagine how furious I was. Uh, and then my um, mobile phone service provider annoyed me, which, you know, is part of the course. But I think this is just a, mer a Mercury retrograde of like, super um uh super fiery responses yeah 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 anxiety and fire like that's a that's a combination isn't it that's a but, exactly but I just, I just, I, you know with them the moving the stars i have to just say my labyrinth fan can you not say i move the stars for no one yes oh wait let me <laughs> wait wait labyrinth labyrinth uh, woo, yes woo, exactly yes I, I move the stars for no one it's david bowie them <laughs> brilliant i really hope that people are picking up on it because in yes. my imagination when i started sort of um working on this channel 
I thought everybody was like, you know, much younger and they wouldn't get any of our references. No, everybody here is like right between like your age, my age, and yeah. they know all the things. Yeah, labyrinth. It's, yes, this is the way. Yeah. This is the lifetime of, uh, of, uh, of I joy. I move the stars for no one. Move the stars. He, he, would, he would move them for Sarah. Yeah. Is your name Sarah? You're not on the list, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I move the stars for no one else. So when when you guys want to ask for some readings, we're going to yeah. get everybody involved. Oh, yeah. There we go. Retrograde. I was like, why no messages? Why no messages? Oh, retrograde. No, retrograde. The messages were there. It just would not scroll. Oh, we've got uh, Grizzly himself here um, checking in. Let's see. So Pam Harris is here from Hi, Facebook. Pam. Grizz is here from Facebook. Morning, Grizz. Morning. Morning, morning, morning for you. Um, <laughs> John says, hi, got my second breakfast in. Um, good, good. <laughs> and Moon Moggy John is getting us started with the first question. So right. the game we are playing today, I say a game, you know, life is a game. The game we're playing today is called Everybody Psychic. So we're going to do John's question. What do I need to know? And then anybody else who fancies getting involved, you send messages for John as well. Just to make it easier for me, do like an at for Moon Moggy John so that I know what message goes where because it's going to get busy. Uh, but yeah, what does John need to know? Oh, yes. Shall right. I get so cracking? Have you I get yeah. Yeah, we go. Right. Ooh, John, this is gorgeous. First of all, can we take a moment to enjoy how much this card is like the background that we've got on today? Do you see? It's the sun. The magic. This is a photo yeah. that the very talented Laura took of the sun. And this is a picture that the very talented Lady Frida Harris drew of the yes. sun. Practically the same. <laughs> and, um, and it says that what you need to know is that you're all right. What you're doing is all right. What you're getting, um, what you're achieving is all right. Because you're saying to yourself, well, you know, I'm, I'm doing a lot, but I feel like I always need help. Yeah, that's really okay. You're a human being. And you're saying to yourself, you know, I'm achieving a lot, but maybe not like 100% of what I want. Yeah, babe, 90% is fine. How many people get to 90? So this is calling on you to celebrate all the things that you're doing, all the things that you're succeeding at. Each and every one of them is a miracle. Don't sell yourself short. So that's what I've got for you, Moon Moggy John. Well, we have a happy ending with a card I've got, but we've got, we're going in there a little bit. So I've got these three, um, I've got some different cards today. First one, Ooh. we've got very, um, very much this uh, Mercury, Ashka, the Son of Swords and Knight of Swords and, mm. and the Death card and the Justice card. And then underneath it was a Chariot card. I didn't mean to pull so many, they just came out because they're so small, they just came out. Um, so again, what, what you're saying, what you're working towards, what it is important, like the Ma was saying, like it is important what you are doing, the energy, the community, and it may be a time when you're quite stressed or anxious, as we were saying, about the changes that are going on, about what's happening, about the transformation, or about what you need to do. But the justice card comes, I love how colorful that is compared to the other cards. Um, the justice card is saying, what you are doing is creating balance, it's creating harmony. You are calling out things that are wrong and you're bringing life back into balance. And for you, that will mean that you're moving forward with strength, with power and with joy. It just feels that maybe first there's a little bit of a, a sense of having to call things out, having to speak, having to speak your truth, having to deal with that, maybe a reality check of some kind. But from doing that, the death card always brings rebirth. And I think that's pretty immediate that you have this harmony and rebalance and justice around straight away. So powerful times. That is beautiful. So if anybody's got a message from Moon Moggy John, make sure you send it. I'm going to, you, you see me looking away because I'm going to scroll up and down in the messages just to make sure that we're not missing anything. Oh, look what we don't want to be missing. Moon Moggy John oh. saying, spot on, oh. loving it, loving it. Yeah. Uh, he's saying, uh, feels it's getting harder all the oh. time. It's so early in the morning, babe. Um, and, <laughs> 
and moon monkey john also says dream last night a woman i don't know yet was giving birth to my baby might have a different meaning this mm. is actually so interesting yes because, yeah, yeah. Um, one of my gorgeous clients in america had sent me a message yesterday to say that he's had two dreams about babies being born mm. um, from him to people that he doesn't know and Ooh, wow. i thought right i thought what it meant two different dreams but the same you know the same theme i thought it meant that he's got a project that he needs to get out there he's very creative you know very um uh, very knowledgeable uh, a project maybe a writing project so that was that for him mm. where do you feel it fits with john well yeah it's really interesting because oh, i was fascinating and and looking at it like yes of course it can be a premonition of a relationship but I, I feel for realistically for you at this time what it is is the feminine part of you the the, the creatrix the birthing part you're either you're taking on we said rebirth in the last reading before we even saw this dream that you're coming into a phase of rebirth into a new phase of life and also that responsibility as well like the justice card and everything that that and the sun card have children on as well like this whole thing of this bringing in a new era bringing in a new energy for you but also the responsibility and it also depends on how you felt in the dream were you excited were you anxious what was the feeling you had but um yeah, there's also that you didn't know the woman. This is about a new chapter you're not quite sure of yet, that you're birthing, that you're moving into, which is a responsibility. It is something that you can co-create and bring into fruition. Um, so, yeah, it's exciting. That is exciting. I love a bit of dream interpretation. Me too. Tell think. us your dreams. Um, oh, because... can, I tell, can I tell you my dream I had the other night? Have we got a second or we're busy? We're busy. busy. Yeah, no. I, I, just, I, I, I really, really think I speak for everybody in saying we would love to know it, it was a really interesting dream i dreamt that i was going to a meeting and it was on a zoom and it was about someone that's going to help me with my career and my life and i went all right yeah whatever sure and val kilmer was on the other was on the other side the actor and i went hi val and of course he can't speak very well, he's, well in real, in real life. he's got he's got a, he's got um, he's had throat cancer and it's uh but he was chatting away and he was really creative and i, I can't say i thought about val kilmer for, for since, since, the was, doors, since the doors, since the doors, like his best. Yeah, work. Willow. And every time I watch Willow and go, hmm. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I was, anyway, he was chatting away and he's been really inspiring. I was like, thanks, Val. That's really, really helpful. And then, in the, anyway, then I thought, let's Google what does is Val Kilmer doing now? And that's not in the dream, that was in the morning. He has this amazing, because obviously he can't speak very well. So he's created this art place to support and inspire people. And you can oh. join his art community and there's monthly calls and there's support. And I was like, but, but I dreamt that. So of course so he, I joined. Yeah, yeah, he came to you in a dream and invited you. There's no yeah. better. No, and it's other people really, on the course that were saying sign as such. That's not a sign. That's like a direct named invitation. Oh, I know. And the woman said on the thing, I think it was a premonition that brought me here. And I was like, yeah, me too. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, do you think he's just sort of launching it to everybody? Uh, yeah, I, mean, I, I wasn't taking it that it was definitely meant for me, but I think he's there's a sense of creative energy and he's just calling people to him. I just thought it was really interesting. He's got a really that's fascinating so art project. Yeah. Yeah. That's anyway, amazing. that was my dream. <laughs> yeah. So we've got a few messages coming in before we jump in to do a reading for our Grizz. Also, um, Holly, who asked, can I randomly ask a question? Absolutely, yes. yes Absolutely send that. it. Um, but yeah, before that, let's just sort of catch up with a few super relevant and exciting messages. <laughs> We've got Dora saying Merc Retro so far has put me to sleep. I'll be I safest. We can, yeah, we can speak for all of us to say that you have missed yeah. nothing. Nothing. You missed nothing. Hello, my beautiful spiritual sisters and family wow. from Andrea. Thank you. Oh, yeah. um, nice. Debbie, I saw your message and you will have your reading ward also same. Um, Piz, Pizzer yeah. does it. Uh, okay, Pizzer does it. Uh, <laughs> 94, could just go with 94, saying that is real. I've been in a wicked mood lately. Thoughts yeah. everywhere. Right, yeah. so you're not Mercury. alone. David Bowie, saying, David Bowie loves you. He's the best. Oh, and um, also, if any of you don't know, Laura has interviewed and met the baby from the labyrinth. Yes. 
<laughs> and the, the yeah, the creators of the characters are the baby of the labyrinth. Yes, yes, that is that is true. Who's now not a baby and who's got a baby of their own that's that's you know <laughs> is he does he look the same? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's incredible. Taurus says, David Bowie in Labyrinth is how I knew certain things about myself. <laughs> so same. many things I want to say about balls, but I'm not. <laughs> yeah, same. Ooh. Um, yeah. So, so we've I got. Actually, um, sorry. Ooh. We've got like top, top important message from yes, the boss. Yes. Yep, yep. Wait, scrolling, scrolling, I'm finding it. Bigfoot yeah. Outlaw Grizzly, who runs this channel, everybody, lots of respect, saying, I would like a reading. Oh, of Let's course. see who's jumping in first. Okay. It's all about the swords today. Wow, no, that really is. So, uh, again, that's fair dues because it is Mercury retrograde. It's about the swords. But, um, well, have you got no swords? Oh, you got swords. You got no, swords. I have yeah. Two, two out of three. Swords. You, oh, you've got three out of three. You definitely win this one. Wow. <laughs> yeah wow um so the first one is the mother of swords the queen of swords and it feels nice because it's the owl it feels like labyrinth still i'm sorry i'm still there um <laughs> and the owl yes yes this is such a, i think this is <laughs> this is my back do you get the queen of swords as well on your, your you've got the queen of swords yes so. yes so two queen of swords is so if we played snap we'd be definitely winning um mm -hmm. So this is, I think it's my favorite sword because she is compassion and justice. So it feels like this sense of watching wisdom, of really seeing through people, really seeing what is right. And even though we say Mercury retrograde brings all this confusion, I think it brings out a confusion, but it can bring this inner sense of absolute clarity. And I feel that's what it is for you. There's a sense of I, uh, a deep knowing about what feels right and, and not really minding at this time what other people around you uh, are saying or thinking. And that's doubled by the four of swords which is taking a step back going within and i feel like you're creating a really safe and powerful space for yourself for new ideas and healing and energies to grow so it's almost like letting this happen because the two of swords is coming up as well which is another card of sort of stepping back and allowing a rebalance um so this is you know there's a wisdom that's so strong there's a sense of taking a step back in healing and there's something in that background that is really ready to launch at the right time, which is not today. It's after this period. But the six of wands at the bottom saying there is victory coming. Um, so six of swords, sorry, the victory is coming. Uh, it just takes this time to shift um, and, and to take that step back and to rebalance. So, yeah, it's really interesting to have all those swords. That is incredible. Now, I'm going to give my message, look at other people's messages. There's also a couple more messages for John, but then I'm going to tell you uh, what you don't know in how much you've got things, not just spot on, but like the actual words. Because um, I've got a couple of channels, uh, sorry, a couple of shows with Grizz uh, that I haven't sort of, I haven't caught you up on. Uh, but when you said launch, when you said step back, uh, when you said it's absolutely mind blowing. So Grizz, um, as Laura was saying, uh, the Queen of Swords came up twice, and Yay. here she's saying to you, take the mask off, be fully yourself, be fully yourself, so the whole world can take a long walk on a short pier, be yourself, there's nothing to hide, there's nothing to um, feel uncomfortable about, you are, you know, you are you, what more can you be? And it says, you're feeling a little bit fearful about leaving things behind, but if you're able to let go of what you've got behind, then what you've got ahead is so much more exciting. And it reminds you that the only constant in life is change. Change, 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 change. Cha -cha 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 Changes. Yeah, the only constant in life is change. So I'm just going to catch up to Laura. Yeah. Um, so Bigfoot Outlaw Grizzly's channel is going to start being broadcast on Hulu and Roku and like um, TV streaming channels. So it's going to be in actual TVs, which makes it, you know, obviously bigger and more international. So that is the launch. So you said something in the background is waiting to be launched. Yes. But I can only imagine that there is so much that goes into switching to a much larger platform. And I feel like your message 
was saying to Grizz, you know, remember to heal yourself. You don't belong to the channel. You don't, you know, you're you're yeah. not the channel. You're still a human being there. Yeah. So let's see what we've got there. <laughs> Right. So we've got this one from Grizz saying, spot on, wowee. Wow, we. <laughs> but that is not the biggest one. This one that says, yes, 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 yes. That's what I like the, in the morning. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Same, right? When you've got all your energy about you. Um, so let me just sort of catch up. Anyone that's got messages, for mm. Grizz, we are playing Everybody Psychic. It's the game that we made up like five minutes ago. So why not join <laughs> Everybody Psychic? Well, it's not just a slogan. Everybody is. Yeah, it, it's true. If you've got a message in your mind for Grizz, put it in the comments. I'm going to flash it up. So I'm just going to catch up first with a couple of messages that people were kind enough to send for John just scrolling slowly to make sure i haven't left anything behind there's a few greetings that i haven't flashed up on the screen although uh jane robertson says hi from cornwall how to cornwall and for you you want to get flashed up you put your uh put your geographical location i get all excited i get it um, i love cornwall so. yeah uh, yeah it's it's not far from you how long is the drive uh, it's a couple of two hours yeah you're right so just like liverpool is not far from me it's still two hours in the car but you yeah know, worth it's it still i love it so much i'm, I'm slowly yeah. edging there i'm slowly edging i, I can imagine so mm -hmm. we had holly oh, say yeah. hi saying i um, not sure if i can yes. ask a question absolutely yes ah yeah. there's one for john so this is for you moon moggy john from pam harris saying thinking outside the box brings you happiness Ooh. with the sun card right so thinking outside the box Thank um you. get excited about yes. the doors Ooh, <laughs> no no we're like in a val kilmer land <laughs> you're val kilmer um and pam harris says also new inspired ideas coming to you um so moon moggy john is at first sending thank you uh and we've also got a thank you from holly thank you so much um and Holly says, how awesome. Now, That's wait, 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 wait. Uh, John says, not a goblin then. Not necessarily. Oh. Um, but I think we had some more from John. Oh, wait, I can't find it anymore. Sorry, but there was a confirmation from John that I know I saw where you're saying, oh, yeah, found it. Saying wait press press the thing press the thing press the thing saying phew yes, yes started a new project so Great. that is yeah. clear direct confirmation awesome. well done for, good work for sir. anyone joining us uh we are playing everybody's psychic we're not playing where you know this is real life um sending in questions and everybody answers together so we've got tours question saying may i have a few cards about work Please. Of course you can. Of course you can. Oh, that one just wanted to jump out. Okay. You got oh. a jumper. Yeah. Oh, look at you, Tor. I just want to, I'm excited, so I can't hold back. Um, the lovers jumped out. How lovely is that? Followed by the star and the two of cups. It was the other way around. Oh, how perfect what a beautiful energy for you oh what did you get or should i go on about this first or just uh... oh um no i was getting excited that you've got the two of cups because i've got the three of cups and i think those two together make such a lovely pair because the two brings you such blessings and the three just comes and pushes it a little further and yeah. i find the two of cups and the lovers together is just like a, okay. a big like you know foghorn of of blessings coming through because and the star as well just exactly. that because you your work i mean i felt this is very romantic but it also feels like the meetings the people that you're meeting are going to bring you so much joy and success and your star is rising your star is rising so there's yes it's actually for personal life as well it, it all it's all tied in isn't it it's so creative and lovely it's all tied in there are good people good connections there's a sense of excitement coming in around who's 
who's meeting, who's coming into your life, the, the opportunities they bring. But also I've got a sense of flight, lift off, taking off for you and some real joy with it. So it's not actually a hard graph time. It's being open to the blessings and the miracles, opening to the energy and just being yourself because I love the star saying you're shining and it's happening. Amazing. So what we've got here is kind of a balance. So I've got the seven of wands that shows new beginnings. So new things are coming and there's going to be a little bit too much, you know, as, as things happen, there's a, a little bit coming and then too much coming. And you're like, how do I do it? It says that you have systems in place to organize everything so that you can funnel the right person to check out the right folder and all of that. So when things overwhelm you, you will not be overwhelmed. This is just one of those tests, isn't it? The, the you know, can he handle all those blessings tests? Can he? Yeah. He can. <laughs> yes, he can. <laughs> and, and it says that you've got to turn in words, find that peaceful place and start directing people, start directing people to the right locations because the blessings are not only coming, but even when you think, okay, yeah, quiet, quiet week, quiet week is coming. That quiet week is exactly when different people in positions of influence are meeting in back rooms and talking about you. Just because it's quiet in your front room doesn't mean that it's quiet in all the rooms. So, yes, a lot is happening. A lot. A lot. Of um, it's lovely. And I'm... At the moment, uh, we have a little bit of an avalanche of messages. So I'm putting the reading requests um, in a different folder so that I can get to them. Um, but we have a few answers from everybody psychic. So Holly says to tour, a dream job maybe mm. because of the star. Yeah. Um, tour himself says, wow, thank you. This is all making way much sense yeah. that's exciting and me. pam harris says grizzly that's for grizzly new beginnings coming trust your intuition when making decisions no need to ponder your answer mm -hmm. such a fabulous message yeah, so the, the quick decision is the right decision and john responding to pam about the project saying pam yes designing something Wonderful. big love, love it. it i love everyone's getting involved that makes me happy yeah so all right um somebody's read the memo um on locations holly says dublin. hi from dublin nilda gonzalez is saying ladies blessings and then correcting yourself to ladies i don't know i feel quite lazy today so i'll go with lazy <laughs> yeah it's really okay to be both not judging um, and, oh, do you know, I think I've not said hi to Dolores Claiborne, um, which, uh, if I recall, Dolores Claiborne was a Stephen King book oh, yeah, in the 90s. Oh, yeah, a character, mm, right? yes. Um, and she says, this is kind of interesting, because we were uh, we were going on about dreams. So mm. uh, she says, I dreamt I got given Swift tickets for my birthday. I didn't. I Seems didn't. that dreams, the universe, and fate itself aren't as swifty tailored to my uh, wishes uh -huh. as I'd hoped. So I know. We, some dreams. Yeah, what what would those tickets mean to you? How did you feel when you received them? Are they yeah. symbolic for something? Because I yeah. think would you say like in dream interpretation is not just about what you're seeing, but about your interaction. Yeah. In the dream, during the dream, when you wake up. Absolutely. I mean, some dreams, obviously, I've had some dreams which are so lovely. And it's like, it's almost like sometimes the universe just gives you this gift of, that'll make you feel better. Let's heal your brain a little bit. And you've been, and it's not going to come true, likely, you know, but it, as in like the next day, maybe, maybe later. Yeah, maybe exactly. Later. Eventually. You know, the next day, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, there's some dreams that come through which have been absolutely lovely. And yeah, I don't expect the next day for them to be real. But what they did for my, for my thoughts, so actually, maybe things are possible. Maybe I could have the opportunity. Maybe this is, and then I start calling it in myself. So I think like that feeling, some dreams are there to show you what's possible. And when you're having Taylor Swift tickets, tick, tickets obviously represent something that's exciting 
something that's coming that's offering a new way for you and maybe the next day you didn't get given the tickets but did it plant a seed of what's possible not a specific and what does taylor swift represent to you you know how did you feel about that there's so many i love dream interpretation because our minds are so complex and it's very rarely straightforward like the val Kilmer one was really interesting because it was quite specific and more like okay there's something coming in there it's not like a normal dream but you can ha we all have those we all have some dreams which are very okay that was a bit weird what's the let's follow that up and some that just help us to see different perspectives in life or just show us different ways and that's the wonderful thing about dream interpretation and how can you tell often with how they feel you can tell that there's a, that was a dream which is either a wish fulfillment or a fear dream or something else so it's really good to, to, to write your dreams down to follow them to keep a journal then you get to know that and you get to follow it through and, and work out and unravel what kind of dream you're having but yeah a ticket is an opportunity so maybe that's for, for expansion for for hope for excitement so maybe that's what was brought in love it but my lecture um, on dreams is now over <laughs> <laughs> i don't think it is because <laughs> look at this so keith adams hi 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 keith saying i have often dreamed this is new for today i have often dreamed of Ooh. being on other planets buildings mm -hmm. Vehicles are similar, but different enough to know it's not Earth. Is it possible I travel or just a vivid imagination? Why not? I both? never believe in just an imagination. I mean, where yeah. does imagination come from? That's people, people like to say that with you know, with readings, with spells, with magic. Did I just or a store uh, a meditation? Did I just imagine it? Where does your imagination come from? We, we, you know, it's there's no just with imagination. Let's just have that. I think yeah, absolutely. Why not both? there's an element of in your dreams you can astral travel is pretty much a proven thing that you can you know the part of your soul will journey off somewhere else and bring back information why does it have to be on this planet why can it maybe slipping through to something else i've had some dreams you reminded me i have had not for a long time but i have had similar kind of dreams as that and i think you're experiencing something that may be a part of an imagination but may be um a little bit of a you know a traveling a touristy night trip to somewhere else and bringing back that information I it, could said, be, it could be a memory um yeah because yeah why, why would souls belong only on this planet yes. So yes. when i was small i was really really interested in um like you know when little children have dreams about like how they were in past lives yes. i had like a you know a short-lived obsession with it and well, there, that. <laughs> yeah, there have been like so many instances where addresses, um, you know, what people wore, that everything sort of checked out really to the letter that a child would remember how a house was like 100 years before if they remember their previous incarnation. It's possible that Keith maybe had an incarnation in a different dimension or in another planet because the soul is limitless. It yes. could be from anywhere and it could be going to absolutely anything and we can't be so arrogant to think that our planet out of all the different options this planet with the drying oceans and all the wars this is the best we can do no as souls we might be able to do better yeah i love that no that's i love that part of it as well the memory or the yeah the knowing yes 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 thank you i love it bring the dreams on um what have we got so uh, we have a hello from south carolina hi Good glowing morning. light intuition that's Good exciting morning. um and i'm just looking for some more responses uh to each other dolores says yeah. that's a cool dream keith it really is um and she says maybe you should write a novel keith and use your dreams as inspiration i, I really love think that. a lot of books are you know some yeah. kind of like a connected memory oh and penny saying happy mm. thanksgiving happy thanksgiving to mm. american friends thanksgiving yeah sorry um nilda says i dream a lot with a beautiful black mm. lady from my ancestors How I interesting love i love I that i think it's a, it's a connection isn't it that you'd have yeah. maybe from you know great great grandmother um andrea says to keith I see you writing your dreams down on paper and publishing it. Well, people Fabulous. seem to be in, in, you know, in favor of you doing your novel, Keith. So I think it's a sign, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <I think. laughs> 
Um, and oh, we've got just finishing off on the dreams and we're going to go yeah. back to um, your readings. Holly says, yes, I've had dreams with people in them that I haven't seen in over a decade apologizing to me. Oh. I always feel such relief. Wow. Thank us. Yeah. I think this sort of soul healing in dreams. So I'm so I'm like a star being myself right now. You can't even see me, can you? It's so bright in here. <laughs> I can sense you there. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to, but I, there's something about soul healing with dreams. And, and even if it can't be said in real life, or for some reason, you know, there's, there's, it's not, it's hard to communicate. That could be the first step in actually that getting that resolution. If, you know, if, if you're holding on to something, if somebody else is holding on to something that it can, it can start melting that, you know, that, that's that ice that holds any resentments or fights. So, yeah, I think you can get a lot of soul healing in dreams and it can help take that first step towards healing in, in the real life if you actually want to. Yeah. I love it. Thank you. Fabulous. Let me um, try and make it so you so... can see me a bit more. Sorry. You know. <laughs> that's okay well, that's I, I not relevant that, you know the real the real news item here is sunshine in england hold the front page winter sun i know like let's not even cover it up i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> exactly enjoy it. get the vitamin d when you can so just to let you know everybody watching um we've got andrea jane and nilda still with questions in and i think that's all we'll have a chance to to do let me sort of see that i haven't missed anybody at this stage holly says thank you laura it's so true mm -hmm. um yeah, so cool. yeah let's go to the questions so please don't send any more questions however send as many answers as you like and yes. we will do um andrea who's been waiting the longest so jane roberts and nelda gonzalez uh we've got you after so andrea says would be honored to have a reading from my beautiful spiritual sisters, please. Oh, I'm not funny. even going to pretend that your compliments feel so nice. That yeah. sorry, that your compliments do not feel so nice. Oh no, they do. Yeah, they do. Blooming do. Oh, that's lovely. Right, I'll let you go first. I've kind of leapt in airy style every time, so I'm gonna. <laughs> oh no, 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 no! It's all the same. Right, Andrea. It says here that you have been overthinking this is the eight of swords and it shows that you're trying to keep the balance so you're trying to keep the balance in a really upside down way i'm sorry to say that i don't mean it as a criticism but have a look at your thought process that when you think something really positive or when you're really really kind to yourself you go all right let's keep harmony and put myself down while i'm at it that's that's not harmony that's it's balanced in, you know, in, in the toxic land, but that's not where we're going because it says that you have such unbelievable untapped potential. There's so much you can do. Do you know what this shows me? It shows that you have a lot of knowledge in things that are outside of like your um, work scope. Have you been looking into travel? It's showing me, it's showing me nutrition. It's showing me uh, things like allergy testing it's showing me things like physical and mental protection that you can help people with so there's such a lot of untapped potential and if you decided to jump forward create some of it as a bit of a business i'm not saying the entire business a little bit a little bit of a business see how you connect with that part of the world how you can turn your passions and your joys into a way to uplift people and you know and the whole universe you'll find that it suits you to a t now do you know what's stopping you from getting there this 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 need that you have to not talk too loud not think of us of yourself as too much of an expert not accept your you know fabulosity and i, I can accept your fabulosity can you oh hell yeah yeah all the way in all the way in so this is what i've got what have you got there yeah it's really interesting because i have the same thing like as in not the same cards but the same vibe the first card is the, the block ten of wands straight away just like no 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 mm. no keeping self in a it's almost and then and then beautiful cards beautiful cards i'll just go the ten of wands for a second 
um, and I do it this well. I, I, I'm working through it a lot, but I've always done this, like oh, putting these things up so you can't shine, um, putting these things up so it holds you back that one bit. And it's under the guise of looking after everybody else. It's under the guise of I do this, I do that. I'm I'm overworked, so I can't. I'm too busy, I can't. I've got this. And actually, you're really feeling it now. I'm getting it. I know it's once, but I'm kind of getting it like thorns in like Sleeping Beauty, where they're kind of tightening. And you just feel like, I can't do this anymore. And that's a good thing. It's a good thing because it's telling you, you have got this grace, this beauty, this gift, this love. And it is nothing to do with all the stresses that you've told yourself. This is just stunning. You know, when you're, there's something about you with the Ace of Cups and the Page of Cups. There's such an ease of exploring your gifts and your love and your heart. And it's gentle. So you don't have to charge out the world and say, hey, everybody. But there's a flow of just it, what, what you love, people want to see. What you care about, people care about. And the more, life doesn't have to be this. Um, it doesn't have to be the kind of the burden, the stress. You're opening up, your healing, your work is so needed. And so the minute you, put more time and energy into it it really will just flow out there so it's kind of a similar message in a different way amazing and just very quickly andrea said will my spiritual guides help me find a home soon like before december 18th how will i know it's right for my daughter and me so i was sort of seeing it quickly and i was getting that you find it but don't move into it by yeah. the 18 so it's already set up have you got something similar there yeah i mean the page of cups as well as like your daughter i feel like it's when your daughter vibe there as well but yeah i've got like around the 10th and the 11th or something like 9th or 10th i've kind of got but not for moving but you've got the 10 of pentacles there like it feels really strong that something is set up and strong for you before that date yes amazing good luck good um luck. Good luck. Uh, and just for anybody joining in right now we are playing we are enjoying everybody's psychic woo everybody's psychic everybody's gifted when they search deep down um so if you've got messages <laughs> if you want to get involved and to um tell the people requesting the readings what you can feel for them go right ahead let them know put them in the comments and we'll flash them on the screen andrea says thank you love i appreciate all that you do for us mm. big loves big loves thank you and i've got one from jane robert it's the before last one nilda is going to be last jane says please may i have a few cards about relationships of course of course you can jane a few cards about relationships oh <laughs> And sound effect, you get them as well. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, okay. First card was the sun, which I blooming love. Maybe it's just you know, absolutely. There's, but what I get, there's a few, a few corkers that came up after that. So I feel like the sun. It, I mean, cork is in a kind of, ooh, um, you know, the sun is cleansing out, it's clearing out. The feeling is that someone be bringing out the. The, the crap from the woodwork a little bit at the moment like you'll see there's a light that you're shining and it feels brilliant like you're in a new space there's an energy around you that's healing and new and what you're heading towards is strength and it just feels like this is you you're beautiful your power you're strong i don't know if there's something that's been a bit of a block with your relationships with the ten of swords and the four of cups so that came out after the sun card i feel like the more you're shining or the more you're ch channeling into who you are the more things that aren't okay are kind of really like not okay. And you're gonna be transformed. I feel there's a cleansing going on at the moment with your life and people can step up or they can step back is the feeling I get because you're not gonna go backwards. You, you're seeming to be going into this new chapter, into this new beautiful energy. And there's a, you know, I think it's be a very transformative few months. So not saying you should dump everybody, but you'll just be very clear what doesn't quite work and what is holding you back at this time. Um, and you can work, choose to work with that, but you're not, to choose to be less because this is your time <laughs> mm, exactly because it says you've got options you've got yes, options definitely. you're a happy person people want to flock to you people want to surround you but this could be a time for you to just glow as mm. who you are and not really um not really accept anybody who doesn't have like you know a special invite what we've got here it's not the sun but look how much of the sun symbolism we've got here with a sort of glowing crown right so it's the queen of wands but she's red she's bright she's courageous and she didn't used to be 
you yeah. can become that you can become that the story of this queen is that she has undergone enlightenment and even the uh tiger panther what's, what's the spots leopard. <laughs> leopard. Leopard. even the, even the leopard <laughs> it's all the same word in hebrew even the leopard has got the um the new skin and it used to be a panther so we can see that the spots are remnants in you know obviously in card world not in zoology uh we can see the remnants of how he was how it was before it became um before it became her enlightened companion so that brightness that um um blinding light is you and if you weren't born with it, you just take it till you make it, boo, because you yeah. are it. You're so phenomenal and you can't see your own glory, but you've got to listen to the people that tell you that it's there. Yeah, absolutely. So let's see if anybody else has got messages for um, for Jane. We've, we've actually got some messages from... Penny, who actually is psychic, involved in investigation projects, and she agrees with us. Yes, everyone yes. is psychic, of course. Yes. Um, you both yes. are lovely and positive. You got oh, me thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank doing you. Doing our best, doing our best to contribute to uplift the energy. If anyone's got messages for Jane, go ahead and send them. Mm. We're just about to jump into our final reading for today and that is for Nilda just asking anything coming in for me for 2025 hey. okay what's 2025 Dorothy woohoo yeah, yeah. sit down <laughs> it's a yeah I love it you could really go first I always stop stop leaping yeah so it's a big transformation because um, it's we've got the death card here, which um, Laura has picked up before. Uh, so you're not the first one to have got it today. Um, and it shows how you're going to have something come off your, you know, come. I don't want to refer to it as a burden because obviously it's not a burden, but it is just sort of using up a lot of your energy. And that period is about to stop and you know it's about to stop. And afterwards, there is a period of grieving. And following death, there is always rebirth. And you can re be reborn as whoever you decide. You can be reborn as somebody who travels a lot. You can be reborn as somebody who blogs. You can be reborn as somebody who guides other people who go through this experience and they don't know what to do with it. They don't know how to um, balance their emotions as they go through it. So you can be reborn as absolutely anybody, not in the distant future. In 2025, we are, what, 33 days away? Ooh, number. Oh, my 33 word. days away from 2025. <laughs> Some of us are handling it better than others. Um, <laughs> we're 33 days away from 2025. If you're listening to it uh, later on, maybe even less. And you can be reborn as whoever you want in 33 days. What have you got for Laura? I am a star being already. I don't know what will happen in 33 days? I don't even know. I can't even see. Okay. Okay. I hope you can see because I'm sorry if it's so... You got the eight. Oh, it's such a nice card. I want to show you. Wait a minute. Oh, let's move this around so we can. No, we just can't see. It's all too much light, darling. Here, too much. So it's the Ace of Swords, and what's really lovely with the Ace of Swords is they. There we go. You can see it better now. There's this beautiful figure of eight around the sword of snake, which is like multicolored, and it just feels so fated that this. There is something that is coming through for you next year, which is meant to be. There's like this divine. There's this like new energy, a new alignment, a new thought. This is something about. You're meant to be on this path, this this change, and what comes up after that is you're the Knight of, of Wands as well. So you know, like, like you were saying about you know your something within you that has been very well buried, you haven't had the chance to do to explore. It's like no, no, it's coming up, and like in in, in Bar's reading as well, like something had to go for that to come through, and and the, the cards that are representing that is 
we are humans that hold on to anything to stop change happening. Oh, I'm fine like this. And then you're going, no, you're not. <laughs> you don't want that anymore. Like, so I, I'm the same. Though. You can stay in situations which are kind of naff just because you're afraid of what the what's over the other side of it. And um, this is representing that feeling of a bit, oh, I'm not really sure if this is okay. No, there's something within you that is powerful, that is almost like rising very much to the surface. It could be your creativity, your fire, your will to travel or to explore or to share these gifts with the world. But they're not going to be silenced. And to, for that to break through, something is going to shift. But that, I love that sort of eternal um, figure of eight there, the infinity symbols. We said earlier on, the only constant is change. And there's there's two snake symbolisms here, that like shedding the skin allows that new life to come through. So it feels, yeah, the human part is like, oh gosh, I've got to deal with a bit of changes. But the soul is going, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. So we've got some confirmation from Nilda already saying, gracias, I'm in a spiritual ah. journey. Thank you for the confirmation. I'm Scorpio. Oh, that explains your that card. card. <laughs> As you're sponsored yeah. by that card, it's okay. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, love a Scorpio, although I'm sure you're relieved that Scorpio season is now over because, you know, intense. Um, Jane says very kindly, thank you so much. That was beautiful and reassuring. Um, and Pam has a message for Jane saying, new you, do not jump in love too soon. Patience, my dear. Yeah. Lovely. And uh, we have a message, I think it's for you, from Beast Boy Osmosis saying, so hot. No, it's, but no. It's minus three degrees here, uh, but you've got the sunshine, so... It's five degrees here. It's like absolutely positively scorching. Five degrees. Five entire degrees. Uh, oh, and we've got a lovely message for Pam, sorry, from Pam for Nilda saying, stop holding back. Be you. Change is coming. Mm. I really agree with that. Uh, oh, and we have a message for the both of us. Uh, from Penny saying, thank you both for your shining lights. You should come on my Agent X11 podcast. Message me. Cool. Consider it done. Consider it was there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm not available right now, but, you know, maybe same yeah. time tomorrow. Yeah, available. Um, let me see that I haven't missed any messages because we are coming to the end yeah. of our time. Messages, messages. No, I think we've got them. If, if I missed you, it has been inadvertent i'm so sorry i did my best to include everybody oh what have we got oh tora saying such a lovely show today oh, that's oh. been lovely thanks Tor. thank you so much uh so what are you up to for the rest of the day you're writing again yes i am i might go for a little walk and enjoy the sunshine and then back yeah. to writing yes fabulous yeah get a little How about bit of you? um i've got one um face to face client <laughs> when does that even happen one face to face client and then ah this evening we've got we've restocked the love oil um I have, i've got my love oil right here actually my love ah thank you so restocked i've got uh 15 of them over there Ooh. uh if any of you have got like psychic spiritual shops and you'd like to stock our love oil talk it's to me so about wholesale prices um but what we're going to do this evening i'm going to film some lessons on how to use how to make how to use uh, a spiritual oil in uh <laughs> be spoiled most of saying i'm using love oil now good that's what we like to hear um that course is going to be absolutely free so nice. how so it'll be how to use any magical oil um or essential oils uh i'm the witch in the partnership my friend amanda has been a cosmetics formulator and aromatherapist for like 30 years so um so we'll do some lessons together some lessons separately nice. and it's going to be approximately like you know an hour hour and uh 15 minutes of um content so we're yeah. gonna try and do it in an hour and 15 minutes see how the mercury retrograde likes that i mean it can, can try we could try yeah. yeah there's a good chance that it could happen and it, you know if it doesn't that's also cool uh dolores says have a good one everyone yes um, thank you so much holidays for watching. 
Beautiful. Yes, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, yeah. Simeon is saying thank you, beautiful souls. And Simeon also says, great second breakfast show. Thank I think the cat's the only once had a second breakfast at the moment, but <laughs> I think that's the thing. Fabulous. Yeah. Um, so, so, yeah, so we've got exciting days ahead. Yeah, absolutely. Lovely. Thank you, everyone. Have a thank great week. See us. you next week. Bye. See you later. Bye.